<laughs> Alright, welcome everybody who is watching this stream. Uh, this is Mr. C's Twitch channel, uh, and we have a special guest with us here today. His name is Maverick, and uh, he's, he's cool, so we'll get this started. I'm mainly having him here because he wanted to do voiceovers, so, and I had no reason not to oblige. Uh. Or so you think. Or so I think, yes. So, you used to do radio biz, right? A little bit, yes. Not... I, I probably spent about a year kicking about... There were three stations that I was... <laughs> Basically, I did all their nighttime work. Oh, really? But, after a while, I just decided, mm, it's not that fun. It was fun, in the beginning, at each yeah. time. However, it got old quick. Unfortunately, it does get old very quickly. I can imagine, man. Black Mage. Yeah, I, can, I completely realized that I forgot entirely to give them the abilities last time that we played, that I played. Yes! Yes! That's kind of a crucial you? aspect, so... Do that? I don't know. I, I really listen, don't. Listen! Listen! This isn't a game you can screw around on. <laughs> I know. Don't, don't even... Don't you stop right there. Stop <laughs> right there. The next time something happens, I'm going to warn you. I'm going to shout in your ear like a seal clubby. <laughs> what, you've never seen a baby seal in the club? No, I haven't. I've I've seen, I've seen a baby seal getting clubbed, but not a baby seal in the club. Sir, just 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 go on before I lose it. <laughs> I didn't even know seals could go into clubs. Anyways. Dog. I hear you are decorated for your first victory, Mr. C. They sing your praise from on high. You do honor to our name, my brother, and to me. Yeah, sure. Oh? Not seeing it. I am. Forgive me. Your words do me far more honor than I have done you. No doubt word has already reached you, but the Marquis de Limberry's carriage was waylaid and the Marquis taken. What have, you, what have you a mind to do? I have already asked Zabag to dispatch a squad in pursuit. These brigands must eventually come forth to demand ransom. That is, assuming the Marquis still lives. Wait. Yet. I beg of you, Lord Bell. God <laughs> <laughs> damn it, I joked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I was waiting for that shit to happen. Damn it. <clears throat> Lend me a hundred men that I might hunt the horses down. Shut up, okay? Just shut up. Damn it. Fuck. Right. Uh, please, my lord. <laughs> Great me means to avenge my fallen friends. <laughs> Your ears fail you. I said that a squad is to be dispatched. You are not a man of Galleon. Leave her affairs to those of us who are. But, my lord. Do not assume to beg favors of me. Let me remind you, Argav, lest you forget your place. You are but another sword, not yet even knighted. <laughs> I'm loving chat right now. <laughs> the two of you will remain here at Agros and serve among the castle guard. You needn't worry. Danger is not like to visit these walls. Oh god, I have to I have to voice this whole little like spiel from Argath. <laughs> god damn it. My own house was once respected as highly as House Beowulf, you know. 
At least until my grandfather was captured during the war. Yeah, he turned traitor, thinking to buy his freedom with the lives of his friends. Yeah. But his freedom scarce outlived his honor. He was not a dozen paces out their gate when a dagger found his back. <coughs> Killed by some common squire, no more a knight than I. <coughs> One of the men he betrayed later escaped and spread word of his misdeeds. <coughs> My father would have none of it, of course, but he was the only one. Our bannermen deserted us, our reputation ruined. <sighs> I like to think that when he says our bannermen, I think I like to think that he literally means dudes that sat in his house's court and held banners. Actually, that would be it. What you consider a banner it would be a standard of flag or stable in the old world. And the bannermen would be there to carry the living pride of a house, a country, and a militia, a military, you name it. That was their job. I just like the image, like, a bunch of people that used to be just holding, basically holding <laughs> signs, just walking out of a court, and then, yes. and then our guest father just being like, oh no, the house is ruined. And that is That is kind of it, because the old flags, they were the true symbol of that organization the group. Alright, let, let's continue this conversation later. We gotta get through this <laughs> this whole cutscene. It's a good thing you got on at this point because this is a lot of dialogue. Ah, yes. I suppose I had best remember my place. Your lord brother has no reason to lend ear to please from the likes of me. I can't do a girl's voice. Don't even ask. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Delita actually Delita reminds me of? Who? Jace Withers. Jace Withers. I I feel bad that I don't get that pop culture reference. <sighs> oh my exactly Zellbag. Pop culture. <laughs> Thanks, Lay Four Charm. <laughs> Maverick, just I just want you to try. Do do a female voice for a minute, please. I can't. Dude, that's the point. <sighs> Try. <laughs> All right, hold on. Nope. <sighs> My voice cracks. I cannot do it. <laughs> that's even better. Uh, I'm telling you, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, the uh, four charm. This is Maverick, uh, buddy of mine who decided to uh, jump on to do some voice acting, so that's who the other voice is. Listen, I've already tried. I'm not going to do it on... I don't think so. <laughs> also, hi, puppy lover. You know, that makes you happy. That's your prerogative. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Mr. Right. C, you come home. <laughs> that's perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> it's been some time, hasn't it, Zalbag? I heard about Gerland. They say you made short work of those brigands. Now you've truly the right to call yourself a Beowulf. Father would be proud. Okay, I was actually really surprised when I first learned that Beowulf was basically Beowulf. Just, you know, messed up. They had to change the name for typographical reasons, of course. Yeah, of course. Alright, thank you, Lord Brother. Hold on. Nagging. Ha! You certainly haven't changed. Gods forbid you show a bit of cheer on being praised. And you, Delita, do not think word of your deeds escapes our ears. Your sister's been so full of pride, I quite feared she might burst. Worry not, my seams have held. <laughs> God damn it, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I gave it a shot, but I just... I, I, okay, fine. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. I'm glad to see you looking so well, Delita. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. This is this is bad voice acting 101. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one of us is gonna do Delita's voice? I don't know. 
Pick and one. I, Pick you, one. have you settled in art school? Yes, the others have all Can been quite serious? kind to me. <laughs> Would that we could speak at greater leisure, but there are duties that require my attendance. Rose do not catch themselves. I understand. Good luck. There's a lot of salt in the chat, by the way. <sighs> I love salt. We received a note of ransom from the Corpse Brigade. What? <laughs> Something, Something about it sits unwell with me. They are on a... <sighs> they are anarchists, to be sure, bent on bringing down the aristocracy. But they fancy themselves righteous and prey only on them. And those in our employ. Would such as they truly kidnap the Marquis for want of coin? Why wouldn't they? They're not but common footpads. I love that phrase, footpads. I just... I love that. <laughs> footpads was an old word for rogue, thief, that sort. One of the men I planted among them has not returned. I worry he may be caught up in something, something serious. But there are those who do not think some missed my worth a search party's efforts. The man I planted hasn't come back. I fear he may not have gotten enough sunlight and water. Where was he last known to be? A merchant city named Dorter in Eastern Galleon. Guarding a castle girl's dreadfully dull, wouldn't you agree? Forgive us, Teatra. It seems we must be leaving sooner than we had planned. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Mind your studies. I'll be back before you even noticed I'm gone. <clears throat> mm, a little bit of fun. Good thing I wasn't doing an Argath voice. I would have choked on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be on our way. I see all that salt down there. You save it for me. <laughs> yes, Rob puts on a brave face, but the truth is not as honeyed as her words. Oh, is she like Spanish now, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is. <laughs> I could not help it. Should, should I should I put a Spanish inflection on mine too? Seeing as we're supposed to be related in game. No, no. <laughs> because I'm telling you right now, my Spanish <laughs> accent will kill people. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, you better start bleaching your ears quick, cause it's only gonna get worse. <laughs> only gonna get worse. <laughs> what do you mean? Why did you turn Spanish all of a sudden? <laughs> I think Galeon actually is kind of similar to their to the Spaniards. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> you have to. Come on. No. Uh, For the glory of stream. She has a hard time of it at school. The others teach her being newborn. <laughs> In other words, not a high elf. She's a dark elf. Dot, dot, I hate dot. elves. <laughs> Don't forget me. Why do you hate elves so much? I'll explain later. Forgive me. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sure you have worries enough of your own. Yeah, like the fact that you just became Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling attention to it. <laughs> it will be all right. I'm here to look after her. Oh. Then there is not to worry about, but mind your own accent. You can't be responsible for everything. Says the brother who never fails to do any and all that is expected of him. Don't lose sight of yourself, Mr. C. <laughs> Mr. C? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You need not your life be ruled by the fact that you were born a bailiff. Now you're starting to sound like a Spaniard. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey, hey. We don't talk about Cuban.